When Elmer returned to Quincy, he worked in his radio room at home and continued to tinker with anything that needed fixing. He came back to Quincy and opened, I guess was hired by Habach Schrader, which was the big department store in, uh, in Quincy at that time. And he became a one-man radio department. <laughs> and I can't imagine there was much demand for, for radios, but that's what he did. And he did that until about 1928. In 1928, he got together with a fellow uh, by the name of Lee Wright, and they opened Wave Wright. Uh, I think somebody said it was Wave, Wave Wright Electronics, but I can't imagine anybody even knew the word electronics back in, back at that time. But basically, it was a radio shop. And uh, of course, in that period of time, in the 20s, uh, they went from, I suppose, some pretty, uh, pretty simple stuff to maybe some more, more complicated stuff. And he was really in the radio business in the Wavewright company here in Quincy from 1928 to about 1933, sometime during 33. Because of what he had learned in Denver, hanging out with the veterans, Elmer was building radios now and still tinkering around the house. When you bought a bicycle, you had to put it together. I don't know that you could go down. Maybe you could, I don't know. I just know that that was my, it was a birthday present for, I don't know whether it was 12 or, I, I don't know. <laughs> 